Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, the real motive behind Piers Morgan's criticism of Meghan Markle. Jamila Jamila was selected by Meghan Markle to appear on a special Forces for Change edition of British Vogue magazine to celebrate female trailblazers and changemakers. Piers Morgan criticised the decision, however, tweeting, One of Meghan's kind and inspiring female-empowering Vogue heroines is at Jamila Jamil, who called at Beyonce a stripper, said Miley Cyrus was a V with no platform, and told Rihanna to put your mouse away. Royal expert Julia Reedon claimed Pierce was trying to create a version of clickbait on TV by criticizing the Duchess. Referring to the tweet, Belinda Russell said, Pierce Morgan has come out again and slammed the use of one of the ladies on the front cover, Jamila Jamil. Juliet Reardon, the author of The Royals in Australia, commented, Well, Piers Morgan seems to have this bee in his bonnet about Meghan. When she was in suits, she came over to Britain. She met him as a powerful man in the media for a drink in the pub. And since she's been married to Prince Harry, she doesn't see him anymore. So she's been ghosted. He's been ghosted by her, according to Piers Morgan. Who knows? He seems to be wanting to be out to get her. I mean, of course, he is a morning TV presenter who likes to make headlines. He knows he's going to make a headline by attacking Meghan, so that's also what he's doing. It's sort of a version of clickbait on TV. Piers has made his name by, argument, by being argumentative. So this is very much his MO and this is what he does. Mrs. Jamila previously hit back at Piers with her own vicious attack as the British star publicly slammed the journalist's comments. She posted, My pinned tweet is all of the mistakes I made, owning up to being problematic when I was young. I have nothing to hide. You are old and still a problematic, slut-shaming, fat-shaming, misogynistic, irrelevant shit stain smeared across our country. The ITV presenter Oz has also been criti critical of Meghan Markle in recent months, claiming she is as political as any royal has ever been. Writing in his Daily Mail column, he said, News that Buckingham Palace has let her do it is a big surprise though, because Meghan is now supposed to be a member of the royal family and not a publicity craving celebrity. And being a royal means you stay out of politics. Yet here Meghan is talking about being about as political as any royal has ever been. He also wrote, She constantly bleats about privacy, then edits Vogue. The Duchess has been embroiled in controversy in recent months after a string of privacy incidents. Fans at Wimbledon were reportedly banned from taking images of the Duchess as she was apparently attending in a private capacity, despite BBC cameras showing she was at the match. Only two images were released of the Archie Harrison christening, which was made a private affair. Harry and Meghan are yet to reveal details about the godparents of their child. Many rushed to Meghan Markle's defence, however, with the Today Show presenter Brett McCloy claimed Mr. Morgan was weird and suggested he seek help for his obsession with the Duchess. Mr. McLeod said, Piers Morgan has never gotten over the fact that Meghan Markle stopped returning his texts. He used to go on about how they were best mates and then she ghosted him. And he's now obsessed with her. It's to be weirdly amusing, now it's just weird. And yet another full column attacking her. If guest editing a magazine is the worst crime then she can commit, according to Piers Morgan, mate, you gotta get some help. That is all for today's episode. If you like, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.